Welcome to Gilly Tea and Bali, Indonesia. In this episode, we're gonna be snorkeling, finding turtles, getting my scuba diving certification, and running around Gilly Tea. So my journey started off at DPS Airport, which is the main airport that goes into Bali, where I paid for an overpriced SIM card, then I ha hop hopped, hopped into a Grab, which is the Uber of um, Southeast Asia. I stayed a couple days in Bali because I wasn't sure what I was doing yet, and here I am in one of my villas that cost $30 a night. Yes, I do get the entire patio area. After that, I finally figured out how to get to Gilly T by paying $120 US to hop onto this shuttle, which takes you to a ferry. After a rough ride, we finally make it to the Blue Water Express area where they give you a mystery pill. It's a motion sickness pill. And you still have to walk a good bit from the office. It takes like three minutes. Look at these fishermen. These statues remind me of those outside of Naruto's training center. This is our captain. Or crew. Equipment, including life rafts located on the upper deck, fire extinguishers located at the front and rear, and after arriving on the island, you'll notice that there's no docks and it's highly undeveloped. They also ban plastic straws here, although you'll still find them at a few smaller establishments. I stayed at Gilly Divers Hotel, where I learned how to go diving. I got my SSI open water certification, and I learned how to use those watches. Quick bathroom tour, let's go! In the bathroom, the worst part is, if you're from the US, then like, you're so used to dumping toilet paper into the toilet after you go. The sewage system here can't handle it. This is the smallest sink I have ever seen. It is smaller than my hand, like my hand is wider than it. There's fresh water, which is cool, but it's so small that I don't know if I can show you. When I'm using it, I'm literally just like, feel like I'm spitting into the wall. And sometimes I don't want to spit into the wall, so I miss and it just goes on the floor. So sorry to the hotel cleaners. Bathroom, standard toilet, um, there's a butthole washer here. Outside of my room, you, uh, I had a nice view of the diving practice pool. It's heavily chlorinated and burns your eyes on impact. After checking in, I took a quick run around the island. I believe it's about a 10k loop all the way around. Maybe 5k. I don't really remember. You can check my Strava if you really want to know. Along the beaches are chairs and restaurants that line the entire place. But, you know, depending on where you are, you'll also see trash, bags of sand, and these little donkey carts and donkeys. Maybe they're horses. To see the sunset every day, you'll want to go from the main dock across the entire island, which is about a 15 minute walk I'd say. I like to run so I'm always running around. But as you can see, the interior of the island is not where tourists typically go, it's more of where the locals stay, and there's only one main road that goes through the entire place. Locals are also raising cattle here. I think this is a cow. It's a nice shiny nose.
After checking out the sunset, I got a mango smoothie at the local street stall market. It's not really local, it's made for tourists. Here's rhino juice. I'm out here this morning trying to find some turtle snorkeling since I don't have any footage of it from uh, diving. Since I don't have a housing for this and most of my dives were for training. So yeah, let's go find some turtles. I'm struggling right now. 